Hi Dresser Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw Starbucks for mom to celebrate Mother's Day. So let's get started. To draw this yummy drink for mom, let's first start by drawing a straight line across. So this is going to be kind of like the lid of the cup. So come right here and go straight across. I'll say about that much. And then I'm going to come about right here and round this corner off and come down for a small little lip area. So same thing here. Come down with a soft curve. And then we're going to go ahead once again and draw a straight line across to connect. From there, we're going to come down here and we're going to go the opposite way now. Come in a little bit and we're going to go angle and then in. Same thing here, angle and in. And then once again, we're going to have to connect it with a straight line right across. There. So we have these two parts in now to draw the top. So the top right here, we're going to come in a little bit and I'm going to draw a slight angle line. From there, I'm going to go ahead towards the center. So I'll round this part off a little bit. Not too high, say about this much. Come towards the center, which is about right here. And then the center part, we're going to round it off a little bit and come right back down. So I'm going to give myself a point, come right across about right here. So I kind of know where I'm going since I'm drawing pretty big. So about right there, and then once again, angle down. So that's your goal right there for the top. Let me round this off a little bit too sharp. <laughs> it's one of those like hot cups with those lids is what I'm trying to draw here. Okay, so then from there, we're gonna come in here, about right here and here, and we're gonna start to draw the cup. So I'm going to start with this side first and I'll just angle, draw angle all the way down. So let's see here, let's keep going. I'm not going to go too much angle, so keep going. Say about right here, I'll stop. So just a little tip if you want to draw this side as uh, um, closer to this angle right here because it is kind of hard because it's kind of big. What you want to do is wherever you ended this point, go straight up. So it's about right here. So this is about the amount of space and do the same thing here. So come about right here and go straight down. So that is approximately where you're going to put your angle. So right here, we're just going to try our best to connect down to this point. So hopefully that helps when you're drawing big to figure out the angle a little bit easier. There. Okay, so we have our two angles in and then we're going to go ahead and round off this part right here and draw our bottom and connect. There. Okay, so we have our white um, cup in here for Starbucks. Now to draw the logo. So I'll be right back because I need to go find something uh, for a circle template to fit in this area. Okay, so I'm back. I found this little canister here to put in the center that will fit nicely. So I'll come about right there. Make sure it's in the center for my camera here and I'll go ahead and use this to trace a circle. One second as I get this right. Okay, so about right there, I'm going to go ahead. So definitely see what you have at home. <laughs> Anything will work, right? Just make sure you don't mind making it black on the edges if you're using a Sharpie. <laughs> okay, I have my circle in, and now I have to draw another circle. And the reason I'm making it really big is because this drawing is mainly about this logo. So um, that's why I'm trying to make it as big as possible. So I have this nice handy uh, circle template here and I'll just go ahead and let's see. 
I'll use this one coming the center here and use this one right here make sure it's centered I have to look at my camera since I can't put my head over this so about right here go ahead and draw another circle okay so that is done okay so now we can go ahead and draw our logo here here and so i'm changing up the starbucks logo a little bit i'll start about right here to draw the crown so just um say about right here just so you have enough room for the top of the crown right in the center i'm going to go ahead and draw a big curve then from there i'm going to go straight up so about right here and start to draw our points for our crown so I'll draw two of them and zigzag across. So same thing here, zigzag across for our crown. Then come in a little bit right here and we're just gonna draw the bottom of a U. And there for the face. And let's come in here, very simple, just two curves for the eyes. And a big smile right here. Aww. <laughs> okay, so then from there, we're going to draw the body nice and centered. It's about right here and here. I'll go ahead and come out with a curve and come in and out. So kind of like this hourglass that we're drawing out, in, and out, and in. <laughs> okay, so then now the hair. Come back to where you started the crown. And we're just going to curve down to where the body is. So obviously I'm simplifying this logo very much. Okay, so then from there, let's draw another curve in here for the hair. there and then let's see here the tail so we're going to come to the side right here but in this area following my circle come out right here and then i'll put in two of these points for the tail and come in here with some stripes some lines right there so same thing on the other side so about right here follow your circle And the two points and the angles and then the hand right here in this area the two hands right here okay so then um, nicely in the center we're going to draw a really big heart right here for mom mom is the queen right <laughs> so this is kind of like her but in the Starbucks form right okay so hopefully that wasn't I made that easy for you to follow along with me to draw this logo and then now we can spruce it up you can write whatever you want in this area um, but I'm gonna just write uh, world's best mother and so I'll start with mother first since it's nicely centered it's much easier and I'm going to draw the T and write the T and the H first because they're in the center. So this being my center, I'll say about right here. You don't have to do it this way. I just wanted to show you if you wanted to be a little bit more accurate and centering your letters, this would be um, an easy way to do that. So as long as you have your T and the H right in the center, then it's a little bit more centered. So we're gonna go E and R and I'm following the circle as I write okay so then O so right here and if you ever run into problems where one side is just way too off you can just make your letters either wider or thinner as necessary okay mother so we have mother and then let's say about right here I'll go ahead and write a W best so the T is going to be all the way across about right here in this area so I'll just go ahead and do that first so about right here the T 
there. So it's just a little bit more accurate. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and write world L D and then apostrophe S. <laughs> We're gonna turn our body and so B E S T. So we just need enough just um, space as you need to say about right here. B E and we did it. Let me make my E a little bit wider since I have enough room here. And S. There, we did it, yay. Okay, so then um, in this area, since it's empty, let's go ahead and put a heart just to fill it up. And so same thing right across approximately. There, world's best mother. And then um, on top right here, let's draw some steam coming out. We'll make it into a heart shape. So I'll say about right here, I'll start right in the center. Come out. Now I'll make another one here. Comes to the center. A little bit more whimsical. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna add another line here. Just try to make it look like smoke. And that is pretty much it. I'm gonna come in here really quickly with my whiteout pen and fix this area right here. So you just wanna kind of like a smooth transition at this top area right here. There, hopefully that's much better. And I really hope I helped you draw this cup of Starbucks coffee or tea or whatever you want to make it for mom for Mother's Day because she's the world's best mother. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos.